Will Polish highways be ready for the European football championship next year? Yes, absolutely, say Chinese companies doing the job. But Poland's own road builders are furious, saying the China overseas engineering group Kovac is competing unfairly. Its bid for the contract to build some of the A2 link between Warsaw and Berlin beat out several European rivals. Kovac refused to let Euronews film a construction site near the Polish city of Luz. But we found a way. We went in with Polish motorway inspectors. The biggest surprise for us was the price offer, of course. We, the Polish Road Network Management, had calculated the prices to expect, but the Chinese submitted a bid far, far lower. European contractors charge up to 40% more for the same work. Polish and European builders authorities tell us Kovac can undercut their offers because it has the full backing of the Chinese government. In Polish neighbor Germany, the Eastern European Economic Relations Group warns that China's growing share of contracts appears to be driven by geopolitical rather than economic goals. That group accuses Beijing of price dumping, aggressive financing and generous risk guarantees. The Polish Chamber of Road Constructors blew the whistle. We proposed that the European Commission take action. Europe can level anti-dumping tariffs against bananas or shoes. Europe should also protect itself with duties to prevent dumping services. So far, the European Commission has not taken up this anti-services dumping suggestion, although it has promised to pay close attention to tendering procedures all over Europe, such as for huge infrastructure projects in Slovakia and the Czech Republic. Poland's road network needs a huge upgrading. By next year's European Football Championship, which it will host, Poland wants 1,800 kilometers of new motorways. Some experts say it can't possibly all be ready before 2015. But this Chinese engineer says there's nothing to worry about. The work is proceeding as planned. If it goes on like this, we'll have finished everything by the end of May 2012. We promised the football fans this road will be ready for the European Football Championships. In 2010, Chinese companies invested significantly in Eastern Europe, such as in a 366 million euro polyurethane plant in Hungary and a car factory in Bulgaria. The Chinese see Eastern Europe as easy to get into, to assemble goods for sale in Western European markets. In Southern Europe, the Chinese have bought government bonds in Greece, Spain and Portugal, and there's unofficial talk of Chinese support for Hungary and perhaps Italy and Belgium. The Chinese engagement in crisis-shaken Eurozone countries is a political signal for markets, stabilizing the whole region. A German economist explains why China is so interested in a stable Europe. Why does China have so much money? China has a huge current account surplus over us. That means China exports more to Europe than it imports from us. For that to continue, China is more or less obliged to lend the rest of the world money. Fireworks in Beijing ring in the new year, the year of the rabbit. In a small town in Germany, 18-year-old Kiki, who plans to study intercultural management, tells us about the transition from year of the tiger to year of the rabbit. We saw the impact of the tiger in 2010, with all those financial problems. The tiger is very adventurous and dominant. Last year was especially adventurous. Hopefully, the year of the rabbit will be somehow more rabbit-like, quieter. It will be a more solid year. The city council where Kiki lives bought her father a plane ticket to visit China, hoping he'd convince the company Sani to invest 100 million euros in Bedburg, and he did. I looked up old personal contacts and arranged to have lunch with the president of Sani. It was while we were eating, he took his investment decision for Bedburg. For Bedburg, it's a big deal, creating 600 jobs at first and more later. Sani is one of the world leaders in construction machines. 
While German companies are investing in China to build the same kind of machinery there, Sani is doing it in Europe. It prizes the Made in Germany label, which inspires good sales. European competitors are concerned the new company on their turf could mean trouble. Sani says not to worry. I understand the European view and anxiety about Chinese investors entering the European market. On the other hand, foreign investors entering the Chinese market are most welcome. Globalization has transformed the whole world into a kind of global village. In my opinion, mutual investment contributes to better economic development and thereby to world peace. One of Germany's top China experts is based in nearby Dausberg. He shuttles to China several times a year, coordinating research and advising European companies. Is China's market really open? No, there's definitely not a balance. Chinese companies today can invest all over Europe in a very broad range of sectors and enjoy all the advantages of a free and open market economy. But European companies investing in China are subject to far-reaching restrictions. And again, Europe is the best place in the world for Chinese to get easy access to high technology. Bedberg Castle is a throwback to when the region's wealth came from cotton, sugar and coal. But changes came when mining ended, and the small town is millions of euros in debt. Through the creation of jobs on the Sani site, the city of Bedburg will pay less social support. The investment means more people paying income tax, and as turnover grows, so will tax revenue on that. It's good for our city. Other big Chinese investments include the concession to run the container port of Piraeus in Greece. Here also the Chinese company Costco refused to let us film the upcoming multi-billion euro China-Europe transport hub. Chinese motor manufacturer Geely bought the Swedish brand Volvo for 1.3 billion euros. The strategy is to buy well-established brand names or establish made-in-China brand names and create global players. Chinese investment in Europe has been accelerating. The Chinese government backed their company's international strategies with millions of euros. The Chinese came out of the global financial crisis very well. They're almost the only remaining bidders in the market for European companies. But there is smaller scale activity too. Qi Yan is celebrating the Chinese New Year in Dusseldorf. She's been in Germany for nine years and studied business administration. Now she's launching her own business, exporting shock absorbers made in Germany to China. The rabbit is very quick and very active at night. As a result, he proliferates rapidly and has a big family. That's why I believe the year of the rabbit will be good for Chinese business people. There will be an increase of wealth and good business deals.